When you have reached 30 feet, it's time to work on your application of power. Essential 4. The power must be applied at the proper place at the proper time. In fly casting, it is very hard to distinguish power from speed. Power is line speed, and line speed is what makes your loops go faster. Watch these loops and notice how quickly they unroll. Line speed control is an integral part of everyday fishing. To be successful, you must think of applying power as accelerating the rod. You want to accelerate in a smooth progression. The amount of line being false cast. The length of line for the final cast. The wind speed. The fly size. All of these things determine the amount of power and speed needed for the cast. You must learn to vary the power or speed based on the fishing situation. Each stroke should start slowly, smoothly accelerating to a stop. The last portion of the stroke should have the majority of the power. Let's look at a basic stroke. Divide the stroke into two halves. Look at the amount of power in the first half and the amount of power in the second half. It is obvious that the majority of the power comes in the second half of the stroke. This is also where the maximum speed occurs. Some people, mainly strong men, are better off thinking in terms of speed. This keeps them from using too much power. Now start again with 15 feet of line. Begin to false cast as softly as you can and still keep the line in the air. Once you are comfortable casting this length of line, add a small amount of power or speed. In other words, go from here to here faster. From here to here faster. The extra power will drive a slightly deeper bend in the rod. Therefore, the stroke should be a little longer. Watch as the power is increased for each stroke. Each time you add power, lengthen your stroke. This added power will increase the line speed. If the loops are traveling faster, then the pause between strokes should be shorter in order to have the proper timing. Continue to add power a small amount at a time until you reach the maximum power or speed that you can achieve smoothly. Continue to practice at this speed until you are comfortable. Once you are comfortable, add one more foot of fly line and repeat the process. Start softly and add a small amount of power until you reach the maximum speed that you can perform smoothly. The process that you are seeing in a few false casting cycles should take place over several days, if not weeks. Each level of line speed is just as important as the next. Now keep adding line until you have reached the 30 foot mark. When you can control the size, shape, and speed of your loops for 15 to 30 feet of fly line, it's time to move to the next step.